everybody. I've got a new journal to share with you guys today. This is, um, I've named this journal, journal Hummingbird. Um, it's a design team project for Calico Collage and um, it's just a really beautiful kit. If you love hummingbirds you will absolutely be crazy about this one but I'll just explain to you how I've created the cover on this. Um, the closure is Sorry Silk it's scrapbook paper, which is a heavy cardstock, and then I've layered it. I was at a place here probably four months ago, and I ran across this hummingbird wallpaper, and oh my goodness, when I spotted it, I had to have it. So I've been hoarding it, thinking, well, how am I going to use it? And my first um, idea was to make some pockets. Um, I saw a lady did a tutorial a while back, and I just haven't gotten around to it. So when this, um, she's named this one Fluttering, or Flittering Gem, I believe. The link will be in the um, description box, obviously, below. Um, but as soon as I spotted that kit, I thought immediately, this is what I'm going to do with it. So it's cardstock, um, wallpaper, stitching. Here I've got lace handmade um, crocheted flowers, various snippets and laces, and this is a Tim Holt metal, metal plate. It's quite a busy cover, I, I know that, but I like it. I'm really pleased. I'm, I feel as though it's just come together um, nicely, so I hope you do too. <laughs> Um, this is the back. You got the little hummingbird here. He's kind of peeking. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bit of glitter within this wallpaper. It's gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I, I, I love hummingbirds. I think most people do, but um, that paper is is just gorgeous. And, you know, I, I like the blues because it's a it's difficult to find anything in blue. So that's the cover in the back. Um, okay, so here we are inside. I've made <coughs> the wallpaper pockets on the front and the back. And using elements from um, Calico Collages kit, I've created handmade um, tuck spots, um, tags, Here's another crocheted flower. This is one of the pages from the kit. I'll give you a close-up of that. There's a lot of elements that come with this, and the papers, they're really, really pretty. They're very cheerful, um, making me think about spring. This is one of the pockets that comes in the kit. This is just an extra journaling card. These are the large tags that come, and I've just made a little um, fabric hinge and then added some papers. These are just offcuts that I had, so got yourself a little hummingbird notebook there. Um, avocado dyed paper, some music um, sheet paper, stamping. This is another page from the kit, so you've got some turquoise, like a fuchsia, some deep purples. It's really, really pretty paper. Here, I just took a strip of the wallpaper that I had left over, and then this is some avocado dyed um, cotton material that um, I did um, last weekend. And I just let it sit and sit and sit and sit, and that's how I've come up with this really dark, I'm um, really happy with how that's come out. It's a really deep um, blush pink. So I made a ruffle and just put that over it. Here is uh, another handmade tag. This is one of the sayings that comes with the kit. And this is another journal card from the kit. And I just did a little stamped tag there. This is one of the images. I've, I've just added that to and made a pocket. One of the, um, another of the journaling pages. Just another journal tag I've included. Here I've done um, an altered paper clip using the banners that she provides. 
And then this, <clears throat> if you've been following along in my craft, it, um, the 100 day project, this is one of the envelopes I created with the coordinating. Um, this is a project life card that I've just uh, collaged. So that's been included. Some <coughs> a vintage trim and then a button that's been stitched on as well. These are the background papers that are included in the kit. So you've got lots of little hummingbirds there. Beautiful colors. Yeah, with these gray skies, it's really nice to work with this sort of um, papers because it brightens your spirits. Um, this is a, another avocado dyed, and look at how deep that's come out. Really pretty. It's funny, all those, um, you know, this is the center of the signature. Uh, the avocado dyed papers can vary so much. It's, it's fascinating to me because um, I tend to leave them in the same amount of time, but... <clears throat> The colors just vary so much. Lots of little flip places for you to do journaling. <clears throat> Another one of the um, little circle pockets, and I've created a little tuck spot out of that, and then that's just a little altered mini Rolodex card. And then here I've just made a little flip out there, and this is a pocket. And I've made a tag from that image from the kit. And then another little tag here. And I don't know if I said this is 128 pages front and back. So you've got plenty of room for <clears throat> writing in. You can add more embellishments. This is another one of my uh, 100 day projects. Uh, one of the little notebook with a couple of pockets there for you to add some tags and then this you can just pull out and add the papers as you need so I've just left it that way so that you could refill it and then this is another these are the cutouts that you get with the kit so that I've just made another tag using those some punching there and some more stamping I've had people ask me time and time again about this stamp. It's an unbranded stamp, and I've probably owned that now for um, at least eight years. So I'm so sorry, guys. I just, there's no information for me to pass on. I can't even recall where I bought it. This is just another little tag that I backed with some tea dyed paper, did some machine stitching. <clears throat> this is a tea bag that I've altered into a pocket. So that's an image from the kit, just some scraps from my stash, and then I've punched out the little butterflies out of my punch to add to the strings. Just some stitching there with a button. And then this is just a fold over um, tag. I believe Wendy, Wendy's Journal Adventures, I believe she was the... Um, the one that come up with that. And you just put it over. Um, so it's got machine stitching. This is an image from the kit. And then on this side, I've just put a little pocket in there. And then this has been stamped to muslin. Then, then some burlap. And then I've added that to it. So, so another page from the kit. Oh, I love that. Makes you think of summer. Uh, here's another little tuck spot I made with one of the journal cards. and the, This is just a journal card from my stash. Some more little elements that um, I had in my stash I thought coordinated nicely with it. And then on this side I just did a little bit of a like a journal tag that's and I've taken one of the journaling cards and stitched that so you've got that that can float within the journal that's the center of the signature beautiful and here is another altered paper clip uh, another of the journal cards and then this is a stamped image that I've included 
on this side, this is one of the um, book page pockets that I um, made. There's nothing in it, but you can add some items. And this can float within your journal. Or you can use it in another one. Totally up to you. This is another pocket from the kit. And this is another large tag that's included. And another journaling card from the kit. Look at that page. Isn't that pretty? Um, here I just did a little collaged tuck spot. And then I just created this little tag using some of the elements. And then I've got another flip out so you can do some writing here. And this is included. Beautiful. And this is another, um, you get a little library card that comes with it. And this is an image from my stash. So if you love flowers and hummingbird, um, you'll like this one. Um, this, I told you, is wallpaper, and then I've got a little hand crocheted. Art I've included, and then this is just a altered envelope with a bird image. I thought that looked really sweet. And then inside I've just included the coordinating writing paper, um, so that's been tucked in, so if you want to do some extra writing there. And like I said, the closure is Sorry Silk. Um, I'll just give you one more look at the um, the cover again. And then that's the spina. It's all it's a five hole pamphlet stitch. And then the back with that other little hummingbird. So there it is, guys. This is listed in my shop if you're interested. And uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you here soon. Bye. <music>